All right, a little project today. Uh, this will actually take a couple of days. Uh, I mentioned I was going over Buddy Stumps to help him work on the boat. And we dug through a bunch of material he had and got up in there, measured, and lined it up. And I'm going to do the little bit of machining of the metal, if you want to call it that, in my shop. And uh, I'll show you what we're going to do. And then when we get everything cut out here and go back over there, I'll show you how we're going to install it. Now what we are making are umbrella mounts, sun umbrellas for his boat. Now mine, if some of y'all recall, I'll try to link the video. I have uh, mounts that go over my pedestal made for that, some umbrella mounts. And finally got my umbrellas too. So. <laughs> <coughs> Pardon me. But uh, his boat doesn't have pedestals because it's a floor. We sit down closer to the floor. So what we did, we found some, pardon me, I believe this is inch and a quarter. Measure it. Uh, <coughs> excuse me, inch and a half. Aluminum, aluminum pipe. Now this aluminum here, not this actual piece, but he has two pieces that's way longer than this that will be the actual mounts. But we need to attach this to the inside of the boat, the pipe. And the pieces he has are curved just like this at the top. And they will slide down in like that to support the umbrella. That way, these two pieces they're permanently mounted to the boat, but they're not sticking up above the hatches and everything. So when you're not using the umbrellas, they won't be in the way. It'll make more sense when you see it. So first thing I'm gonna do is cut this off. I got two pieces, 11 and three quarters, because it got one foot of clearance, uh, 12 inches of clearance. I'll leave it slightly below that. And we're gonna use Cut off wheel, I think it's gonna work for this aluminum. Or I could use a hacksaw. And safety gear it up. Always. And let's see how we can cut this off of here. Now I've got it clamped in the vise at that end and the vise here. I see so many times on YouTube and see people do it where they try to hold something like this and cut it and that's just a recipe to get yourself hurt. Don't do that. Mount it up solid where it ain't going to. Experience tip of the day. <laughs> One down. Take this over to the sander and clean it up and square it off. And cut this piece here. My hood fell off. Got both my pieces cut before I put this piece away. Just knock that sharp edge off of there. This thing has been in a stack of pipes and stuff for over 20 years. In the event that you might need it again, put it back in there. When you grab it, you won't come out and cut your hand. So 
because as you can see I cut myself all the time anyway try to be as careful as you can there that'll work now the other two pieces will go to the sander and do it over there Got the pipe cut, chamfered the edge on there, cleaned out the inside edge just so it's not sharp. Same with this one. Now next, I'm going to mount these up in the uh, drill press. We want a hole here, and we'll go up to about here. We want to, don't want to get too close to the bottom and top, so we can still get inside the thing there when we drill them out. Right, just they don't have to be the same, but we might as well make them about the same, like that. Now we're going to go set up in the drill press and we'll take the camera over there and I'll show you what I'm going to do. It'll be four separate holes, four size holes all together. So let's go do that. Alright, before we drill, let's uh, center punch like that. Might as well go ahead and do this one too. This aluminum is pretty soft, so it's uh, pretty easy to do. There we go. Now I'll move around here. Now this is a 5 16th bit. Being aluminum, I think it will be plenty soft enough to drill through. Now we're going to go all the way through. Get our height up here. Tighten the table. Hang on, safety glasses. Don't want nothing in your eyeball. Move the camera over here. Now this is the first metal I've drilled with the drill press. Since I got it, I'll drill some wooden holes with it. That's okay. Our light. Power. extra power on this this machine is nice all right now like I said five sixteenths holes because he already has a bunch of these five sixteenths stainless bolts okay they'll go through well I'll show you now while this is clamped up in here straight Need to drill another hole big enough for the 
bolt to go through and a socket to go in. So let's go get a socket and see how thick that is. All right, standard half inch socket. Now this has to go through here to get to the bolt to tighten it up. All right, anyway, here is our standard socket. Take over the handy dandy hole gauge, three quarter, and I have a three quarter drill bit. So these are not the best quality bits in the world. They are Amazon specials from you know where. So I don't know if it's going to drill or not. If it doesn't, we'll get the hole saws out, and I know that'll do it. Uh, this should work. good tighten our table down now this one all we're doing is going through one layer so let's see uh, see how that goes where it is put a little bit of oil on there just for grins and giggles as they say Okay, we're gonna have to lock the slice down. Take our handy dandy vice grips here. I know you can get the locking pliers that go in here and I saw some of those and that might be something I do one of these days keep that straight hang on let me figure out something else all right let's see if this works I've got these clamp downs here I got for the milling machine a long time back and I've never used them that seems to have it really secure and if this works I'll just when I get done I'll take it out and flip it around that way well, let's see wobbly but that'll work so let's take it out of there now our socket will fit in there to tighten it up now one more thing I want to do the bottom of that hole Knock it off of there. <coughs> I'm going to drill just a little bit into the bottom to countersink this just a little bit. 
because it's going to touch it's going to hit the shaft if i'm not real careful now i don't want to grind this down any so we're just going to touch it or not I'll figure out something else for that okay, so we drilled this one We did get a little bit of moving over there, so let's try to. This might help just a little bit. There we go. Let's try this. Anyway, these holes are done. We'll worry about, uh, let me see what else I can think to chamfer. If I got a chamfering bit that might go down in there. All right, let's try this step drill here. What I'm trying to do is counter bore without a counter boring bit that I don't really need, but oh well, let's see if this will work. Hard part is getting it lined up. Well, not sure. Let's see. Maybe we're there, but still ain't got the counter bore. Let's go measure it with that other piece and see if that's going to work. that's going to hit it. Well, this little short project turned into irritating. I have one more idea. Maybe I should have tried it to start with. Got it. Got enough room to get a socket on it and it'll clear. Now what I did when I drilled this hole in this one, I went ahead and went straight through and did a little counter bore right there, which is going to work.
Might work one time, maybe it'll work again. Making a mess is what I'm doing. Bingo. All right, we'll set the other one back up and do the same thing, and we'll be almost finished with this little project. Now I could have, I know somebody else said, why didn't you just use the middle machine? I could have, but that is the heaviest cutting I've ever done on, like I said, so I've got this drill press and the power is there. Uh, my little drill press, I don't think would have done that, but uh, anyway. If I do something like this again, I will do on the middle machine. That was aggravating. <laughs> All right, last step before I get this ready to paint, because yeah, it's got to be painted too. Which uh, is, it'll look really cool. I'm just going to take my little burr and my Dremel tool and clean these edges up, get the burrs off of there. I need me one of them deburring tools. And I need a set of counter bores, drills. Add to the list of ever needing something. Always need something. <laughs> we can do it with this. Work just fine. Turning off the wrong switch. All right, now I'm gonna clean them up with some uh, alcohol to get that oil off of them, lightly sand and paint, and we'll see them after they're painted. All right, since we're on the lake today, let's finish up our umbrella mount video. Now, I was a little late to install them the other day. My stunt went ahead and installed them. There's one there. And one back here. You're on my line again. I'm trying to make a video over here, and you're messing around trying to catch a fish. Go ahead and pull up. There you go. There you go. Now, all right, maybe I'm out of the way. Sorry about that, y'all. Now, here are the uprights that I painted. Metal was already bent. Who bent it? Well, Stump said he bent it, but I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Anyway, it goes in like that. And if 
I can get somebody to hold this camera for me. Let me get an umbrella out. You really don't want to put it like that, though. How you want to put it? Well, you can't open this door right here if you do. Yeah, you can. Oh, okay. Well, I can't put that one back here. Yeah, you can. No. Anyway. I got a fish. No. Trying to do two things at one time here. We all know how that works out. Yeah. <laughs> Step one, get the umbrella out of the bag. No, yeah, try to get the umbrella out of the bag, yes. Where'd your cork on there go? Hmm? Oh, well, that? I don't know. Where's your other one? Huh? You only got one out? I got two out. Mm. There, so figure it out. Maybe. <laughs> they shouldn't make them things so complicated, should they? Now you sabotaged it the other day. There. Now, like I said, these are my umbrella. This one is. I have a pair of these. Push up, push up, the umbrella part. There you go. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, I, I can see. Oh, you need to go like this. That's why I wanted round pipes to pivot it. <laughs> give me that. Give me my camera. <laughs> Gonna catch your stinking fish. <laughs> anyway, that's what they look like once we get them adjusted right. That's not how mine's gonna look. <laughs> anyway, that is the umbrella mount video. Back to fishing. <laughs> now, Stump's putting his umbrella up. We're going to do one more clip on the umbrella. Do y'all believe he purposely bought that color? You know, most guys I know like a camo. Red, green. I don't even know what kind of color that is. I wouldn't even have a red bass tractor. <laughs> I would have showed him how to set it up, but I don't even think he wants any shade, you know? I got shade now. I'm set up. Do dee do do dee do dee do. All right, there you go. I just want to show y'all that whatever color that is. <laughs> just caught it.